In this video, we're going to be looking at a book on physics. This is a really old book on physics that came from a private collection, and it is called Theoretical Nuclear Physics, and it is by Blatt and Weisskopf. You see here, it says A. Prince. So Augustus Prince was a nuclear physicist, and this was his book. So this came from his private collection. Looks like he signed it August 23rd, 1961. That was a long time ago. And over here you see it says Brookhaven National Laboratory. So that's where he worked. That's kind of cool. So he must have used this book while he worked there. Theoretical Nuclear Physics. John Blatt, University of Illinois, and Victor Weisskopf, MIT. Very cool. Copyright 1952, and this is the fifth printing, so 1960. It's always fun to see what you find in old books like this, and apparently Augustus used this book when he worked at the National Laboratory. So here is a page that I found in the book, and it's on page 252. So let's just take a look and see what is written on this page. Hopefully there's no like government secrets or anything <laughs> that could cause me uh, to get in trouble. <laughs> so yeah, cool. Okay, so that's the author, Blatt and Weisskopf, and he's got some type of equation here. Interesting. His handwriting isn't um, super clean. But apparently these are some notes that he took uh, long ago. I mean, in the 60s. Look at the paper. The paper looks like it's new. It looks like, I mean, it looks almost brand new. I just have to smell it really quickly. Yeah, oh, it smells old. It smells like the book. Yeah, really interesting. I don't know what any of this is. I'm just going to put it back in the spot that it was in. I almost feel like I should be wearing gloves. One of the things I've always thought that was really cool about physics was the amount of variables that you typically see in physics equations. I mean, look at all of these variables. What is going on here? Nuclear reactions, general theory. Yeah, wow. I mean, so typically, you know, when you study mathematics, you know, you have X, Y, Z, but here we've, we've got so much stuff going on. So yeah, it's just really like mind blowing. It looks really, really insane and really cool at the same time. It looks like he was reading this page too. This is on the liquid drop model. Let's read this together. Consider a spherical drop of radius R. Cool. Any deformation of the surface can be described by introducing a function R prime of theta phi, which is the distance of the deformed surface from the center at an angle theta phi. We consider especially the difference, and they have some difference here, which can be expanded in spherical harmonics. Cool. For the sake of simplicity, we discuss cylindrically symmetric deformations, and hence we ignore all terms with m not equal to zero. Sounds like some pretty heavy physics stuff. This section here had like a little index card, so apparently he was reading this. Nuclear reactions, general theory. Description of a nuclear reaction. Cool, a nuclear reaction is a process that occurs when a nuclear particle, nucleon or nucleus, gets into close contact with another. Most of the known nuclear reactions are produced by exposing different materials to a beam of accelerated nuclear particles. Usually a strong energy and momentum exchange takes place, and the final products of the reaction are one, two, or more nuclear particles, leaving the point of close contact in various directions. The products are mostly a species of different from the particles in the original pair. The present chapter contains a wave mechanical description of nuclear reactions and a general analysis of the phenomena that are expected to occur. And it says here, we shall consider nuclear reactions of the type A plus X to Y plus B, or in a more compact notation, and they have this notation here. The notation means that a particle A strikes nucleus X to produce nucleus Y, and then outgoing particle B. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so I'll be honest, this is, you know, something that is new to me. This is just a book that I picked up from, you know, the private collection of, you know, Augustus Prince, but I thought I would make a video anyways, just to show other people out there, you know, that this is a really interesting book. I mean, this book is super thick. I mean, look how thick this is. I mean, just immense. What a beast. Let's read a little bit of the preface together. The last 20 years have witnessed an enormous development of nuclear physics. A large number of data have accumulated and many experimental facts are known. 
as the experimental techniques have achieved greater and greater perfection, the theoretical analysis and interpretation of these data have become correspondingly more accurate and detailed. The development of nuclear physics has depended on the development of physics as a whole. While there were interesting speculations about nuclear constitution as early as 1922, it was impossible to make any quantitative theory of even the simplest nucleus until the discovery of quantum mechanics on the one hand and the development of experimental methods sufficiently sensitive to detect the presence of a neutral particle, the neutron on the other hand. Interesting stuff. Here are the table of contents and the table of contents is huge. It starts off with general properties of the nucleus. Then it goes on to two body problems at low energies and then nuclear forces. Here it talks about two body problems at high energies, three and four body problems, and then nuclear spectroscopy, and then some more. Really intense stuff. I'm just gonna go through it slowly so you can see the topics. Nuclear reactions, general theory, and then applications to the theory to experiments even more. The contents is just immense. There is so much physics in this book. It's just incredible how much knowledge there is. Look at all this stuff. Beta decay. And here is the rest of the contents. And this is the very first page in the book. It's about general properties of the nucleus. In spite of the tremendous amount of information now available about atomic nuclei, nuclear physics is a very young science. The existence of a nucleus in each atom was discovered by Rutherford in the year 1911. Some of the fundamental properties of nuclei were found at that time. Then here it gives you some of the fundamental properties of nuclei. I also think it's really cool that this was used by Augustus Prince. And for me, it's cool because he was a nuclear physicist and he worked at, you know, this famous lab, which is still in existence today. I'm pretty sure this is a government laboratory and this is the book that he used when he worked there. Also, he was the first, you know, black radar man in the US Navy. So, and I think he did other stuff too. I'm pretty sure he ran marathons. He was a very, very accomplished individual. So my background related to physics is basically physics one, physics two, and physics three. So. Physics three uh, was basically like modern physics where I studied a little bit of relativity, but I've only had, you know, the typical standard undergraduate knowledge in physics. This I believe is way beyond that. So this is actually beyond what I know. And I usually don't review books, um, you know, that cover topics that I'm not super familiar with. The only reason I wanted to review this one was because it came from the private collection of a nuclear physicist who worked at a real government lab and he was quite accomplished. So I thought it would be cool to make a video to show you that, whoa, what is all of this stuff? Yeah, so much math in this book. Really interesting. This is really interesting because he has his name signed on this random page. I just flipped open the book and I ended up here, A Prince, and he has it signed. He has an interesting little symbol he does. He does like a little line with two dashes. I wonder if he does that in some of the other physics books that I have uh, that are his or that were his, but really interesting. Yeah. So hopefully this is giving you an idea of what a book on theoretical nuclear physics looks like. Again, this is the one by Blatt and Weisskopf. And it is a very thick book. And again, it belonged to Augustus Prince, who again was a nuclear physicist who worked at a national lab. And coincidentally, he was also the first black radar man in the US Navy. So it's almost like a piece of history here in my hands. Yeah, pretty cool. Thought I would just make a short video to show you this super interesting book. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.